All right, boys, we are back. Fresh off our trade for Louis Erickson to bring him to the Washington Capitals, all right? I wanted to get another video out today just because uh, I want to do I want to do that one more trade because all we need to do is one more trade and then all the uh, the little jobs and then we can finally start up the uh, the season, all right? So, the last video, I'll just give you guys a quick recap, all right? Uh, we uh, made the trade for Louis Erickson. We didn't really give up much. We gave up a bunch of uh, young guns, three-star players that we know we're not going to use. Um, they'd be career f uh, third or fourth liners, and we can find players like that. All right, they weren't ready to play this year, anyways. You can always find third or fourth liners every year. So uh, we just uh, traded away that. We got Louis Erickson, who I don't really know where he's going to play just yet. All right, he's good enough that we could play him on the first line. I mean, and uh, have Backstrom as our faceoff taker because you guys were saying that uh, 75 overall for faceoffs actually isn't that bad. So that's that's fine, alright, we can play him there, or we could drop him down to the second line, alright, with Ribeiro and Brooks-like, and have a really good playmaker, two-way forward sniper combination, alright, because Ribeiro actually does have pretty good passing, and then still try to get that first line winger or first line center, alright, so, um... We're going to do a search again, but it's going to be a little bit of a, a broader search because, again, Erickson could be that first liner for us of the future. I, I, he, I think he's already good enough um, that we could keep him on the first line. I mean, I, we were never going to get a guy like uh, Jonathan Taves or uh, Hendrik Sedin or Datsuk to play on our first line. That's, you're just you're asking way too much for salary cap with that, right? You got Ovechkin, you got Green who's making six mil. Um, your goalies who are going to want some money soon. All right, we got to really worry about salary cap on this team. That's why I like Louis Erickson. He's uh, just over four mil for the next four years. So we have him for three years, then I could trade him in the fourth year if I have to, all right? Um, but even still, he's worth it. He's worth it. Four mil for a uh, first liner, that's worth it, all right? So let's go back here, and let's, uh, yeah, our search is still here. Good. So let me edit this once again, all right? Uh, I want the same age, yet yeah, the age is still fine. Uh, offensive awareness. Okay, I can drop these down a little bit now. All right, because we're not just going for the first liner now. We're we're also looking for that second liner. All right, uh, passing, offensive awareness. Yep, and I'm gonna put faceoffs back in there. Uh, I just want to see faceoffs because we lowered the uh, the rating for offensive and passing, so there might be more players with the high faceoff rating that doesn't have the highest offensive awareness and passing that are available now. All right, we're gonna only put it to 80. All right, and uh, yeah, that's good. So let's see what comes out now for this. All right, last time we had a lot more players. Oh, what? What? Is there a glitch here when I change something? It gets reset to like 36. Yeah, why does passing get reset to 36 every time? Glitch. Found a glitch. All right, maybe the second uh, rating on the second category there gets uh, flipped around. All right, faceoffs is good too. All right, search it up. Let's see who we have here. All right. So, yeah, it's still a face-off rating, but look, now we have guys like uh, Philpula who's popping up, all right? Now, Philpula is only 83 overall, but uh, let's check this guy out, all right? Uh, very good speed. His uh, face-offs is actually, look, look down in the right, bottom right corner. Face-offs is 85, all right? Very good. Uh, poise is only 80. Discipline is 90, so he's not taking penalties. Offensive awareness is 86. Puck control and passing is 86, all right? He's very fast. Um... Philpula, he's 28 years old. Man, that's not a bad player. The only the reason I really like him, and one year left on his deal so we could renegotiate, the reason I like him is his trade value is so low I could easily get him. All right, uh, Joe Pavelski, Bergeron, Stashny, uh, Kessler. Kessler's way too good. I mean, we look at Kessler, right, just so you guys can see. Um, I, I would love to get a friggin' Ryan Kessler. He's your prototypical uh, penalty killer. Look at that bottom right corner. Defensive awareness, 90. Faceoffs, 87. Shot blocking, 87, 88. His poise is 85. All right, he, he's got offensive touch. Uh, I would love to get a Ryan Kessler, but, I mean, he's like, he's almost a franchise player for Vancouver right now, because the Sedins are in their 30s. I mean, he's 28, all right, as your first-line center. Uh, there's no way we're getting Ryan Kessler. I mean, his trade value is way too high. We'd have to give up, like, two or three first-round picks, and I ain't doing that, all right? Uh, Paul Stashney, let's see this guy. Uh, face-offs is 80, so his face-offs is pretty decent. Passing is 89, puck control is 89, all right, poise is 80, offensive awareness is 89, discipline is 84, so, uh, you know, you could put him on the first line with uh, Backstrom on the wing, because he's got the better face-offs, and uh, he would be better than, uh, what's his name, he would be better than Louis Erickson when it comes to passing, puck control, and offensive awareness, and he's younger, all right, so Paul Stashnia, you know, I've never really uh, got this player in any one of my GM mode commentaries, 
Uh, two years left at 6.6 6 million. That might be doable because remember, we can always dump off Joe Ward. Well, excuse me. We can always jump, uh, dump off Joe Ward and uh, what's his name, Brower, right, and save like 6.6 6 million right there, and that's exactly what Stastny is. And uh, I would have to renegotiate because he's definitely not worth 6.6 6 at 85 overall. I can negotiate that to like five and a half, five mil, all right. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, 27 years old, he is like less than two million dollars for the next two years than Stastny. All right, we look at Patrice Bergeron, his face-offs is 83. His passing and puck control and offensive awareness, they're not as good as Louis Erickson, so maybe he won't be as good to help out Alexander Ovechkin, but maybe you're... Uh, but we already have a second-line center in uh, Brooks Like, um, I wouldn't mind Bergeron, but uh, I think I'd rather go after Stashney rather than Bergeron if we're thinking first-line center, All right? Because that first-line center, I want him to have... Good stats, right? I want him to have really have good, um, some really good stats to help out Ovechkin and uh, and uh, what's his name, Ovechkin and Backstrom, right? So Stashny, I think, is a good player. Bergeron, it uh, doesn't. His defensive stats are good, but we already he's like our Brooks like, and we already have a Brooks like. Just put it like that, all right? Uh, Stashny, I wouldn't mind. Pavelski, we're not going to go after Travis Zajac. Let's see how good Travis Zajac is. Um, all right, so Travis Zajac is basically your uh, Brooks like again. Uh, a little bit better offensively, but yeah, he's basically your Brooks-like. All right, so we don't need a Travis Zajac. Uh, Philpula, though. Philpula. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I know his face-offs. <sighs> the only reason I like Philpula is just I'm thinking third-line center right now. All right? And he's 83 overall, but uh, he's only one year left, and his trade value is so low. I mean, we can make two trades here. One for Philpula, and then one for Stashny, all right? Oh, man, Stashney's a lot. All right, so let me just write this down. Hang on one second because I want to remember these names. I have a little bit more of a search to do. Hang on, does this work? Yes, okay. So Bergey, Stashney, and uh, Philpula. All right, Philpula. What did I say, boys? I'm taking my time with these trades. I got to do it the right way. All right, so Stashney, Bergeron, and Philpula. I, I like out of that bunch. All right, now remember... Um, if I'm looking for a second line winger because I already have a Brooks like, then that means I don't need to look up face offs, right? Now I'm going to take that off. That was my whole plan. Don't worry. I just wanted to leave it in there to see if uh, we could find a better first line center. And we found, uh, what's his name? Stashney because of it. All right. Oh, overall. I don't want overall in there. NA. All right. Uh, all right. So just offensive awareness. We're going to load to 85. And uh, actually, no, we'll leave it 86. Yeah, because the face off. All right. So now what we're looking for here is basically a second-line winger to play alongside of uh, Ribeiro and Brooks-like, all right? And then we can leave uh, Louis Erickson and Baxman and Ovechkin on the first line. This is basically uh, basically what we're looking for here, all right? Uh, now all these players, way too much, way too much, way too much. Uh, Kopitar, how much is he making? Uh, 6.8, not way too much. He's a franchise-type money right there. I can't afford to give him that. Uh, Eric Stahl, Rick Nash, all these players are way, making way too much. Logan Couture, let's see Logan. 2.875 for the next two years. All right, let's see Logan Couture here. Uh, first line forward, all right. Uh, basically the same kind of player as Louis Erickson right now. All right, a bit better defensively. No face-offs, though, so even though he's a center, there's no face-offs there. All right, we could get Logan Couture. Let me just keep going down, though. But if I'm getting Logan Couture, I might as well get Paul Stashney because of the first line center with the better face offs. And then uh, Erickson could go on the second line. Uh, Eberly, Voracek. Uh, let's see. Eberly. Oh, Eberly's already been signed six mil for the next seven years. I mean, it's worth it for him, but uh, he just doesn't fit in our team. Voracek. Let's see. Voracek. Uh, yeah, he's a decent second liner. You know what? Hang on a second, boys. I got to blow my freaking nose. Hang on one second. All right, that's much better. All right, so uh, Jacob, Jacob Voracek. Uh, if we're looking at second-line winger, all right? Not, not too bad, actually. He can help out, but he's nothing too special either. He's a base player. 85 is everywhere, all right? I wouldn't, you'd maybe get 20 goals out of him, maybe a 40, 50-point season. All right, so, I mean, nah, nothing too special there. Bergeron, Derek Stepan, uh, Gagne, Kostitsin, Adam Henrique. All right, so we're going way down here because a lot of these players have the, uh, the good passing and have the good... Uh, What's it called? Have the good offensive awareness, right? But uh, I don't necessarily want any of these players. I mean, I'll, I'd rather go after Philpula, who's pretty fast. Matt Molson, uh, three, nah. Let's see how good Matt Molson is. Uh, he's pretty good offensive awareness and passing rating. Yeah, 
And really, you know, like, if we're just looking for that second-line winger, I mean, there's a lot of players that'll fill that spot. Uh, McCallick, Vanek, Zajac, Bacchus. How good is Bacchus? Uh, he's worth way too much. I'm looking for salary cap as well here. James Neal, worth way too much. Perron, way... Ooh, these guys are getting way up there. Who's this Blake? Now, Blake Wheeler, we're not going to get on our team. Uh, Nathan Horton. One year, 3.5. Let's see. Um... Play alongside of, uh, what's it called, Brooks Like basically. He's good right now, but one year left, I mean, he's probably going to want like 5 mil next year, right? Ooh, this is tough. DeHarnay, let's see this guy. Third line scorer. He's only 79 overall, but hang on. He's got really good passing, really good offensive awareness, decent defensive awareness. He's only 79 overall. I guess it's really weak because of the physical category. David DeHarnay, though, I mean, that wouldn't be bad just to get for a uh, depth scoring, right? Yeah, but his trade value, if I'm going after somebody, I might as well go after somebody. Um, all right, so looks like uh, Stashny, Bergeron, and Philpula are the best players I can think of right now. Just let me go down one more time. Let me look at the uh, salaries on the right. I mean, we go after Dustin Brown, but he's uh, he's the captain of L.A. I'm not going to get him. Uh, Matt Molson. Matt Molson's got a pretty decent. Philpula's got the best friggin' uh, salary cap available right now. Kostitsin, MacArthur, Garbajowski. Semin, Fleischman, Yuri Hudler. Let's see how good Yuri Hudler is. Nah. Uh, Fleischman. Fleischman's not that bad, eh? Thomas Fleischman. Uh, yeah, he's not that bad at all. 4.5, though, for the next three years. That's not going to work. All right, Philpula, I think, is the best. And uh, and uh, who was it? Paul Stashny and uh, what's his name? Bergeron. Let's see. Bergeron's salary, 4.4 for the next two years. Or Stashny, 6.6 .6 for the next two years. I think I want to go after Paul Stastny. I really like those stats, and I think he would be the uh, the first line center that we're looking for. All right, and then Louis Erickson could play on the uh, second line and just see how it goes. All right, so you know what? Let's just see what we can do with uh, with Paul Stastny here. All right, all right. So we're running into salary cap problems with uh, Paul here, but we knew this was going to happen. Now he's got two years left, so we got to figure out who we're going to have to sign next year that may cost some money that we may run into problems with. So we got to sign out uh, Carl Alsner. All right. Uh, Ribeiro we gotta sign, but we don't have to sign, and he's definitely not gonna get 5 mil from me, alright, so that's good, we're saving some space right there, Pody we're gonna save some space, um, keep going here, Lukowicz we're gonna save some space, uh, Kanuba will save some space, Johansson we're gonna have to re-sign, uh, keep going down here, Hendricks will save some space, Roman Hamerlick will save a lot of space, all right, keep going down. All right, so we have a few players to sign, but not too many. So the Paul Stashney two-year deal, actually, it doesn't hurt us because we'll be able to re-sign him before we run into sal uh, salary cap problems, all right? So I think Paul Stashney is perfect. Now, is there anybody else on their team that we can get to help out um, just our run in general? Third liners, defensemen, uh, anyone with not too, uh, too high of a trade value, like Steve Downey. I think his trade value is a little bit high, though. And his discipline is only 60. No, thank you. Um, whoa, 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 Parento, no, they really don't have any, no, we're okay, and defensemen, do they have anyone we could just pick up, Eric Johnson, we're not getting, uh, Elliot, we're not getting, all right, no, they really don't have any defensemen either, anyone down here, no, all right, goalies, we don't need any goalies, no, we don't need Varlamov, all right, so we're just going after Paul Stastny here, all right, so let's see who we could trade, who they'd want, first of all, that we could trade, uh, Neuwirth, Holpe, I mean, I could give them one of our goalies, but I want to give these guys a, a rate, oh, I'm going to have to re-sign Holpe and Neuwirth after this year as well, so hopefully they don't get too good, hopefully I can sign them long-term before they get good, uh, Green, Orloff, Carlson, Alsner, Schultz, Hammerlick, uh, Rissling, Hillen, Pody, they actually want Tom Pody, that might not be bad just to give him Tom Pody and save some salary cap, he's only 79 overall, we could bring up Jack Hillen for that, uh, all right, I'll put Tom Pody there just for now. All right, Tom Pody. There you go. Right wingers now. Uh, Wilson. No, we want to hold on to Wilson and Galiev. Brower. I think I want to give up Brower right now while I can because, I mean, I don't... The, the, the problem I'm running in... Uh, well, excuse me, jeez. The uh, problem I think I'm going to run into with Troy Brower is eventually... If he, if he continues to uh, drop his overall, like 77 overall, 76 overall, no one's going to want to take that trade on. They'll give you the message that uh, we're not comfortable with taking on uh, uh, Troy Brower's uh, salary. It's way too much. And he's signed for the next four years. So 
I almost want to give up Troy Brower as soon as possible just to make sure I don't run into that salary cap problem. Because if I can't trade him away, I'm going to have to hold on to him for four years. You know what? Yeah, I've, already, I've just talked myself into it. They want him. I'm going to trade away Troy Brower right now. i got to free up this salary cap space before it becomes a problem. Like, Joel Ward, same thing, but it's a little bit better. It's only three years, right? I mean, it's not that much better, but it's not four years. In fact, you know what? I think I'll trade away Joel Ward right now as well. Save up this salary because we're going to run into problems in two years. And I, I might not be able to trade these guys eventually. All right? So, yeah, I'm going to give up these old guys right now. Uh, left wingers. Wolski, Erickson, we're holding on to. Yeah, we're holding on to all those guys. And then centers. Because we still have plenty of players that can fill up the uh, team anyways. So, there's no point. Uh, Gustafson. He's only three-star. Let's see how good this guy is. Three-star, two-way forward. Uh, 21st overall pick. Yeah, he's not going to, at best, third or fourth liner for us. But that's three or four years away. We can find grinders before then, all right? So might as well trade him away. And they want him. So this is good. Ooh, and this is really good because they have space on their roster, all right? So we're giving them Pody, Brower, Joel Ward, and Gustafson. Now, that won't go through. We're going to have to add a draft pick in this as well. All right. Now, I don't want to piss them off. Now, we're getting our first line uh, center of the future, right? He's only 26 years old in Paul Stashney. So, we might as well give up. Uh, this is going to be our blockbuster trade, all right? So, one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to have to give up a first round pick. Now, the way I see it, this year's first round pick, I don't want to give up because we may not be. Um, we may not be, we, I th I'm hoping we're a playoff team, but we may be a, uh, a just a playoff team or a first round exit team. So this first round pick may actually be worth something. It'll be worth more than this pick because next year there's no excuse. We should be a really good team by next year, right? Um, now if you go down to years four, five, six, and, and six, the first round pick's trade value is a lot better, all right? So I can use those if I have to, but for right now, what I'm going to try and do is just use the first round pick for next year, all right? So, what they're getting is Tom Pody, Brower, Ward, Gustafson, and next year's first round pick because I'm banking on us being a really good team next year, all right? And all this for Paul Stashney. Will it go through? Yes, it did. We believe this transaction will contribute to our success here in Colorado. So we are accepting your trade offer. All right, so there you go. We gave up a bunch of players there. We uh, we freed up our salary cap problems. All right, we still have uh, 7.3 uh, million dollars of salary cap available on this team. All right, um, even with the additions of uh, Louis Erickson and uh, what's his name and uh, Paul Stashney. All right, uh, NHL rosters under the minimum size. So I think it's our defenseman that we got to bring up now, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're going to bring up Orloff so he can play this year. That's fine. We'll give him some NHL time. All right, and that's about it. So we go best lines now, all right, and uh, the game has it. Wow, well, it's putting Stashney and Erickson on the same line. But uh, the way I see it, Stashney, Backstrom, and Ovechkin, all right? Swedish, American, Russian setup, and then you got uh, Brooks-like, Mike Ribeiro and uh, Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson and Mike Ribeiro, old teammates, back together. All right. Um, I really like that first two lines now. Now we can go into the season and uh, we expect to score goals. All right. Ovechkin has no excuse now. All right. He's got a faceoff taking center who can uh, pass the puck around. All right. 80s for faceoffs, passing, puck control, offense awareness, all at 89. And then he's got Nicholas Backstrom on the wing who's got 90s for offensive awareness, passing, and puck control. All right. Um, and Backstrom, we don't have to worry about his 75 face-offs now because we have Stashny, who's 80, and uh, Brooks-like, who's 80. Was Stashny 80? Let's see. Yeah, we have two guys at center now who are 80s overall taking face-offs, which isn't the greatest, but it's it's good, all right? Now, Louis Erickson is our secondary scoring on that second line with Mike Ribeiro. So, now our uh, 5v5, 2v2, I mean, uh, 5v5 uh, top two lines are really good, all right? And more importantly, our power play is going to be a thing... Uh, are uh, disgusting, uh, hopefully disgusting this year because that's the that's in my mindset that's where we're gonna get our goals uh, on the power play. Ovechkin, Backstrom, Erickson, or no, sorry, Ovechkin, Stashny, Backstrom, Erickson, uh, Ribeiro, and uh, maybe not Brooks like, but uh, we have a filthy power play now, especially with those defensemen, right? And hopefully Neuverth and uh, what's his name, Brayden Holpe can shut the door down. 
All right. So there you go, boys. Uh, we're going to end this right here. We may still have a trade or two. Let me know how you feel about the Louis Erickson and uh, Paul Stashney trades. Let me know if there's anything else that we should do before we go into the offs uh, to uh, year one. Maybe we should go into free agency, look for a player. I haven't done that yet. All right, but just give me any kind of comments that you guys have. All right, boys. So there you go. For Johnny Superbman and the great Domsky, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.